Finally got gas for my welder. Let's go weld some shit. Welcome back to Wrench. On today's episode, I'm going to finish welding the entire rocker panel area as well as the kidney piece on that side and just button everything up, getting it ready for the quarter panel. If you're brand new to the channel, what's up? How are you? I'm Michael O'Neill. I'm a super Porsche nerd. And uh, let's see, I can show you. I've restored this car. And it used to look like this. So now I'm taking this car and I'm turning it into this. This is part 10 of what I'm calling the blasphemy build. I haven't told you what's so blasphemous yet, but that's coming sooner than later. By the way, if you are a subscriber to the channel, I could use a huge favor. If you belong to like Porsche message boards or Facebook groups or anything that, I would love if you would share this build with those guys. Uh, certainly we're all quarantined now and we're all looking for cool Porsche content. And uh, here I am trying to build this channel. So if you'd be so kind, I would be very appreciative. Here's where we are. Uh, at the end of last episode, I was basically blowing holes through all the metal I was trying to weld, so I couldn't do much. I picked up a bottle of Argon CO2 mix 7525 for welding on Monday and instantly was able to patch the stuff up. I think mostly because the welds with um, a gas shield are lower temperature and they can weld uh, thinner material. So what I've got to do is, the first thing is I've really got to get this kidney piece installed. I'm going to use the kidney piece measurements on the driver's side for precise placement, get that thing tacked in, and then I'll get my patch panel tacked in on top. What I need to do is figure out a way to protect inside the cavities of the rocker panels. So things that I can't really get to with a, a wire brush or a tool or anything like that. So I might swing over to the hardware store or the auto parts store and just grab some kind of rust encapsulator, you know, maybe even Rust-Oleum or something I can spray in there. I also have a can of Pour 15 that I can use. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. So I'll probably do that before I fully button everything up. But for now, I'm going to measure the driver's side, uh, mark out my passenger side, and do a little hammer dollying and make sure that everything I have is properly positioned. I may actually have to remake my little patch panel because it, um, the kidney piece might be moved inboard too much. Plan for the day. Mark out the driver side kidney piece and its distances. Go mark it on passenger side so I've got everything precisely placed. Do some hammer and dolly work, see if I can get it as close as possible and then zzz, let's get this thing welded on. Constantly checking the fit of this quarter panel because once this thing is welded on, there ain't no going back. So I want to make sure that um, everything is correct here. Okay. Good, good.
All right, folks, we are pretty buttoned up here. Man, what a difference having some gas makes. Uh, just a huge difference. So next steps are to, I'm gonna hit this thing with a wire wheel and then I'm gonna grind these welds down. And then I have to decide what I'm gonna do in here. How am I gonna seal this? Um, again, I'll probably spray some sort of rust inhibitor or maybe I can paint some pour 15 or something in here, but I wanna seal it one way or another. And uh, otherwise I'm gonna grind this stuff down and start working on fitting this top piece. All right, so we're ground down and I think it looks really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the inside of this, maybe with a little spray, but I think I'm gonna hit this all with pour 15. I might try to take, I have a kind of a grinding stone and I might take the grinding stone here and just try to work this a little bit. Uh, so I'll get these a little bit more ground down than they are. Then I'm gonna paint the inside of this. The thing is though, I have to be careful because the a quarter panel spot welds to this spot. So I may throw just a bit of tape on here. And, um, but otherwise I wanna get all this stuff in here all cleaned out and sealed with some pour 15. I'll probably do this edge as well. So I'll just kinda of do these edges so they feel like they're pretty sealed. So here's what I've gotta do. I've gotta get something to seal this area up in here before I weld this top part on. And for that, I'm using Pour 15. Now, Pour 15 is pretty hardcore. It is, um, they tell you not to get it on your skin because it lasts for days and days and days, which I can completely verify. So as you can see here, what I did was I didn't want to take the lid fully off. So kind of a best practice is to drill a couple of holes or put a couple of screws in the top of the lid, one for a breather and a slightly bigger one for the pour. Uh, then you can just pour what you need into whatever container you need and then seal it back up. And as you can see here, I did that with a couple of washers. So I've got a little bowl here and I'm just gonna work the pour 15 down into the spots that I can get. Now, I know that I can't reach all the way into this uh, rocker, which is too bad because it'd be awesome if I could completely seal it off. But um, I'm gonna try to pay special attention and not get it too much on these walls because I'm gonna have to um, uh, spot weld that stuff. But I can totally hit here, I can hit underneath, I can hit this whole section that I just worked on, and I can get on the inside of this thing to help prevent any rust holes. Pour 15 is a rust encapsulator, so it doesn't let any oxygen in, and that's why it works so well. So as you can see, it does a really cool job of sealing and smoothing everything. So I've got to wipe off a little bit of this stuff here because remember, I've got to weld this whole panel on later. But, and I can also hit this with a, a grinder uh, when the thing fully dries. But look how nice it made all the welds under there. Uh, it's just a great product. It's super expensive, but it works really, really well. Shout out to my boy, Milt. All right, we're wiped off. Looks really good sealing really well. So I'm gonna grab a little lunch, let this thing dry, and then we're gonna get this panel welded on and call it a day. All right, I'm fed, I'm rested, and I'm ready to finish this thing up. So far it's gone really well. I'm really excited about how it's turning out. And uh, I just have this little piece yet um, to weld on, and I'm attacking it with a confidence that belies my minimal experience doing these kinds of things. But um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys these before, but I got a bunch of magnets from Amazon, like a little a little 10 pack of these really powerful magnets. And I'm finding that they're really convenient when it comes to, um, you know, positioning things on the car. I feel like those big welding magnets like this are, I mean, obviously it's overkill for this little piece, but these guys are really cool. These things are really super useful. 
um, between this and you know a, a few sets of um, vice grips, I'm feeling like I can hold this thing together where I want. Now, the gap uh, between this piece and now where I've welded this piece in is a little further than I had originally designed. I'm hoping I can just fill it in with a little bit of weld. And um, I mean, maybe that's where the confidence is coming from. I'm hoping I can do that. But uh, let's give it a go and see if we can get this thing buttoned up. The, the metal is really thin on each side. So that's gonna be the struggle is making sure I don't burn through everywhere all the time. But let's give it a go. All right, here we are. There's my pitch and poop welds, and uh, I'll grind those down. And this thing went on really good. It like went on really flat and straight, which I'm excited about. Now the bummer about welding is you got to grind off almost everything you put on, except for that little thin layer. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll attack this for a couple of minutes with a grinder, and then I've got kind of a hard stone grinder that I can use uh, in this area and uh, we'll see how we fare in a couple minutes. All right, dudes, here we are, man. We are fully buttoned up, and I think it looks great. It's super clean. The lines look really good, and uh, yeah, we should be good to go. So I'm actually gonna put another coat of Pour 15 on this. I'm gonna clean this stuff up, and uh, we're gonna call it. That's gonna be the day. Well, here it is in all its glory with the Pour 15 drying, but I think it's awesome. It's super straight, it looks really good. It's gonna be really easy to uh, get the outer quarter panel on there and button this thing up. Well, that's it for the day. I'm really psyched about how this thing turned out. Excited to see how it looks once the Pour 15 dries, but uh, at least proof positive that, that even a hack with a welder can do something uh, reasonably good on these cars. Next, I have to tackle the entire rear section and see if I can get that inner rear piece on before I bolt the outer rear piece and then work on the other quarter panel. So next show, yeah, I'm gonna work on that inner rear and um, yeah, we'll see how that thing goes. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for sharing it with some friends. We'll see you next time.